Alright, so that's those guys. Well, then, uh, have a look at a dispenser. I hate lines. Oh, then you're definitely not British. They love lines. EQs. Uh, take a number. What's it? Number 66! Almost my lucky number. Huh. So what's your lucky number then? Number 66! Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't want to go out there. Uh, opening hours. Okay. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Wait, can we talk to her? No. Can we do actually? Oh, we can do something out here. Magnets. Okay, magnets. Oop, look at the magnets. Those notice boards are great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd still have to search for magnets in the trash heaps. Uh, okay, which beads we take them? <laughs> right, let's talk to Lottie. Every office needs a good soul. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. <laughs> oh, Lottie. Let's go. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. <laughs> Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. Always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! <clears throat> I want to see the mayor. Everyone, <coughs> everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. All right, could you make an exception? Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when your number comes up. No exceptions. Not even for me. Especially not for you. But you know, you you you're really cute and stuff. Maybe you could make a little exception. But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! <sighs> Fair enough. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. Alright, well, it's my turn. Is it my turn already? No. Number 62 is still up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! All right, all right, all right. I'll skedaddle. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Fine. So, what do we have here? Oh, the post office. Let's go to the post office. Stop right there! The post office... <coughs> the post office is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... GET AWAY FROM THAT DOOR! How lovely. Maybe you could just sneak into the office? STOP RIGHT THERE! WHERE DO YOU THINK YOU'RE GOING? I'll go to Elysium with Goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place! This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only! So draw a number, or bugger off! Oh, uh, well... What a strong and independent woman, I guess. So, hang on. Uh, assembly hall, that's where she, where Goal is. If I remember right, let's go. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's gotta know who her savior is. Oh, who is that guy? Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your 
acquaintance, but make it snappy. <laughs> He's quite cute. Oh, Rufus. Oh, dear. <laughs> What? Come on! Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> the coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do oh, the dear. world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. All right, so... Uh, new plan. Get some coffee. Some nice strong coffee. Have a look at Cole. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Maybe we could just take her? Hey, Goal! Goal! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, Doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. Sure. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Talk to Gizmo. Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. Ooh. Okay. Dr. Gizmo? What now? Uh, will she fully recover? Will she fully recover? She'd need to wake up first to be able to tell. Well, why don't you wake her up then? Well, it's not that easy. I've already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. Okay, I'll save her. I will save her. Ha! Good luck. Did you bring some kind of miracle stimulant by any chance? Something that might wake her up? A kind of cup of coffee to the nth order? I'm working on it. Good. But do it someplace else. Hey! No reason to get rude. Uh, what can I do to wake her up again? What can I do to wake her up again? Nothing, unless you had a miracle stimulant to wake her up. Okay, uh... What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Help her! I would love to, but self-professed acquaintances of the patient are constantly interrupting me in my efforts. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. That sounds funny. <laughs> Self-professed acquaintances. <laughs> Think you can say that a thousand times in a row? <laughs> Why should I? I could even say get lost a thousand times in a row and you wouldn't get it. Right, uh, what about... I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? Uh, pain. I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. Uh, fire. Fire! Impossible! My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. Oh dear. Robbery! Impossible! My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person, and that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvak is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or, at least, that's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. All right, uh, no emergency. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Uh, yeah. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But... No. Bummer. Why not? Do you have a stimulant for me? 
to make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office. But no one except me is allowed to access it. We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. Right, uh, that's for your time. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm, not literally. Right, uh, anything else here? Ah, oh, down there, there's a doorknob. Right, let's go down there. Uh, press it. It's over here. Ah, there you go. Balloons, have a look. Huh, obviously there's a preparation for a celebration going on. Bad la... Uh, something. Woo. Huh? Good. Right, look at us. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for. And why my face is on some of them. Uh, I think I know why. Let's have a look. Another, have another look at the balloons. This reminds me of the fireworks last New Year's Eve. The plan with the balloons was just great. It was uh, <laughs> just on the wrong day. Whoops. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, don't put fire here. Uh, Oh, no, we don't have to burn it anymore. Oh, too bad. Right, then let's go back to the town hall. And back out. Right, so... Uh, we need to go and see Wenzel's... Oh, to the water reservoir. What can we do here? Uh, oh, tap. Ew. Look at oh, I could. This uh, brings water to the houses, or with fluid nitrogen, depending on the escape plan. Okay. Shit. Ah! Whoops. Right, so nothing to do here. Uh, oh, there's an alley. Oh, hello, Hedek. Uh, blast signal. Hey, why aren't you working? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Okay. <laughs> huh. Huh. This is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. Alright, then let's talk to Hannock. Shouldn't he be maintaining the sewer system and removing trash landslides? Gah, lazy bum. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh, Rufus. Exactly. Uh, forgot my name already. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well... How about you find some new magnets for our detonation Already plan? did. Then we can finally continue work. Already did. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I thought just blowing stuff up would be quite exciting. Uh, what, ex what exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Okay, maybe you have my key. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Uh, Rufus. Rufus? Let me think. Rufus. 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 Nope. I don't think I got your key. Okay, hey, Wenzel? Uh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel, Wenzel, Wenzel. Nope. I don't think I got your key. How about Tony? Tony? Let me think. Tony, Tony, Tony. Nope. I don't think I got your key. 
All right. Forget it. Done. Anything else? Uh, the parrot. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Okay. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. <clears throat> Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus. Rufus. Exactly. <sighs> Keeps forgetting my name. Right. Uh, oh, the parrot. Have a look at a parrot. Nice parrot. Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes yeah, you already said in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Let's talk to him. Hello. 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 Ah, oh, I'm starving. <laughs> I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. <laughs> we can't meet anymore. <laughs> Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. <laughs> oh. <coughs> All right. Ah, I'm starving. <laughs> Fair enough. What emergency station? Huh? The emergency station is closed for lunch? Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear-power-propelled satellite could crash into Kuvac. Or the Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? Rufus, you scare me. Your plants sound more and more ridiculous. Uh, Lonzo's Bar. Let's have a look. Oh. Ah, Rufus. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Oh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. Right, uh... What can we do here? Uh, let's just look at Lonzo. Poor Lonzo. He'll be lost without me when I'm gone. Talk to him. Lonzo. Yeah? Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me this place would be dead. Well, without you there would be fewer explosions, I know that. <laughs> it must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. <laughs> How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a frog. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. <laughs> Fine. Did you hear about the stranger? Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. <laughs> this is a fun menu. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo? Are you okay? Uh-uh. Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. Uh-oh. Whoa. What is that? Oh boy, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow. You have a pipes? Tanks? Valves? It's a... it's a... it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. Holy but cow. This is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of 
all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor, following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Ho 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 ho! I'm so excited! Ooh, what a straw. Okay, I need clear reviving and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. Ah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Uh, right, uh, let's have a look at the uh, monster espresso machine. Blonzo's been trying his luck as a handyman. Cute. <laughs> Oh, for the... oh, this must be for the water. Okay. Okay, so we could just open it, okay. Uh, oh, it has a tray. And that's probably where the powder goes. Okay. Right. Espresso cup. Lonzo must have waited very long for this historic day. <laughs> he should have asked me earlier. Yeah. <laughs> the cup is still okay. empty. Still being the operative word here. <laughs> I was just wondering if I could already pick it up. Okay, uh, do we also... Okay, what's up? Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. All right, right. Uh... About the powder. About the powder. Tell me. Blackish? Do you have any idea what kind of blackish powder is needed for this recipe? I have no idea. I don't think they're talking about black powder. Black powder? Hmm. I said it's probably not black powder. But black powder is blackish. <laughs> Listen, this machine works with high pressure and extreme heat. If you put black powder into the yada 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 let me worry about the ingredients and you'll prepare the machine oh no Wait. i'm starting to regret this okay so we are going to use black powder nice <coughs> highly stimulating any idea what highly stimulating means i have no idea Maybe some kind of stimulant? Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some in his office. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some kind of stimulant in his office. That's just what I said. You did? Maybe I'd listen more carefully if you said something useful from time to time. Oh, I guess I had that coming. <laughs> well... What hot beans? Uh, I'm pretty sure I already know what hot beans... Uh, I guess we have chili in front of the house that we could get. We could get back to the house. Any idea what hot beans are supposed to be? No idea. Well, this seems to be a highly intellectual puzzle for a gifted mind. Right. Maybe you should ask Wenzel. I was talking about me. Sorry. I guess I should have known. Statistically, it was very likely that you were talking about yourself. Ooh, yeah, we have to talk to Wenzel anyway, so okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll manage. Hurry up. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. All right, all right, all right. How about the water? Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. Clean? Clean water? Where can I get clean exactly. water? Exactly. Clean water is a myth. Everybody knows that. My father always told me that story about how he founded Kuvac on top of a source of fresh, clean spring water. Hogwash! Your father was a bullshitter, just like you. Bullshitter? What's that supposed to mean? Someday, someone will explain it to you in detail, I'm sure. Uh, all right, all right. So I guess the family has a really good reputation there. Okay, uh, energy rich. Energy rich water. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. 
Hanek told me they sometimes find batteries in the trash. Those contain energy. How about you ask him? Oh, sheesh. This whole quest is exhausting. Exhausting? Hanek is working right in front of this building. Hanek! I guess you'll have to move a few steps into his direction and talk to him directly. <laughs> exhausting and stressful. <laughs> The recipe says something about a revitalizing liquid. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. A liquid that makes something inanimate come to life again? That sounds scary. What's scary about that? Just imagine, a freezer making breakfast in bed for you. Yeah, obviously you've never been in a relationship with Tony. Yeah, I guess she doesn't do anything for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll manage. Hurry up! I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew! Hey, it uh, looks... This looks pretty... daring. It is! Great, that's what I wanted to hear. Huh. You won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So why don't you keep your story to yourself this time? But it's got everything! Action, drama, romance... Oh, a dragon, too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, yes, there really was a dragon. Too late, damn. But there was a dragon. There was Tony. Isn't that a dragon? I'll be off then, getting all the ingredients. You do that. I'll be here if you need me. Right, uh, oh, that curtain. Flawless performance. Still some room for improvement, but that wasn't too bad for an amateur. Wait, can I take it? Woohoo! Right now, oh, a sign. Nat's piss. The only thing to drink on the planet. Huh, not true. Luckily, I'm not susceptible to advertising. Huh, I could do with a steak now. <laughs> not at all. Uh, they got you, man. They got you. Right, just took the side. Uh, what else is there? Okay, we looked at all of that. Uh, oh, a dart. Yeah, sure. As if it was even possible to hit that board with a dart. Can we take it? Can we use it with the board? No, we can't. And I just left behind the door, okay. <laughs> Fair enough, okay. So, even more things to collect now. Ooh! Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Right, but we wanted to talk to Hanek. Shouldn't he be maintaining uh, the sewer system and removing trash landslides? Did, Gah, lazy bum. I did want to look at him and wanted to talk. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Do you have any idea where I can get water that's rich with energy? Uh, do you have any idea where I can get water that's rich with energy? Mm, very often we find batteries in the junk. Those are always filled with some kind of liquid. We call it battery soda because it's got that fizz when it touches the tongue. Is that what you mean? Uh, maybe. Uh, well, uh, talk to you later. See you, uh, Rufus. Rufus. Exactly. Well, I would drink battery acid, but okay. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Ooh, more stuff. Right, we have a leather. Oh, okay. Push it. <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. <laughs> All right. Uh, push it again. Oh, all right, so that's how he switches through all his different emergency services. Okay, this fire brigade. Police force, I guess. Uh, Dr. Gizmo. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Oh, oh, there's a cabinet. Crap. Locked. Distrust everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah. But to be honest, Rufus, with your reputation, I'm not surprised. Oh, laughing gas. The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. <laughs> Can we fill the balloons with it? Yep. 
the clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> clown. <laughs> right, what do we have here? Ooh. This could come in handy with my next amputation. Dr. Gizmo says Wenzel's toe could have been saved with non-corroded tools. Ouch. Take it. Drill. I don't see what this will be good for. I mean, I already have enough holes in my teeth. <clears throat> Dentist, maybe. Right, uh, there's a tree. It's the last tree left. I hope it doesn't croak. I mean, where would I test my herbicides? Uh, I think that's why the tree doesn't look as healthy, man. Right, anything else here? No, okay. Let's pull the leather. Here we go. Uh, handcuffs. Handcuffs in a scale. That must be a symbol for, uh... <laughs> Overloaded metaphors. <laughs> I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Okay, so I can't reach them. Uh, police box. Since the retirement home sunk into the ground, they don't let me work in the trash mines for community service anymore. Huh, maybe our system of justice is working after all. Okay, what did that have to do with the police box? What's that there? <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. Oh, food fetters. Since the retirement home sunk okay, in the ground, yeah, yeah. maybe our system of... Can I take it? No, I guess not. Okay. Wait. A lock pick? A lock pick? I've stashed it in there for an emergency. Oh, damn! Okay. Can we open it? No great in the world can hold me back. <laughs> There, it moved while you were blinking. <laughs> right. I believe you, Rufus. I believe you. Right. Pull further down. Oh, fire extinguisher. Boy, how often did people around me carry that thing screaming like babies? <laughs> Take it. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though, because. I'm always cautious. Fair enough. Uh, specialist gloves. Work gloves? <laughs> Gizmo is such a wimp. Take it. <laughs> Ooh, fire escape. Uh, hang on. There's a hole in the platform. It's huh. a hole. Maybe the foot fetters fit, uh, fit in there. If the fetters weren't so wide, I could attach them to the hole over there. Ah, but they are too wide. Okay, so that doesn't work. Where do we get to when we go down there? Let's have a look. Whee!